Austin Powers, I have your date's hot chicken ready. Primitas! We have two chicken sliders. Mr. Munchies already got hungry, so he took a bite, girl. We also have some mac and cheese, some fries, and a chocolate shake. Bon appetit, Primita! Damn. Nah, dude, come on. We can't forgive that. That's that's a little bit going too far. You said Mr. Mr. Munchies? I'm guessing because your name is Mrs. Munchies. That's your husband? I'm supposed I, I, I I'm using my deductive abilities. Does he not care about what you're doing? Or does he just think like it's free money or like it's just whatever? Like even though dudes on the internet are beating off to my girlfriend or they're using her for sexual satisfaction. Because make no mistake about it, this is what that this is what this is. People on the internet are coming through. And on TikTok particularly, it's not so much on YouTube anymore, even though you do have the Nakato avocados or the jelly bean sweets. I don't think she uploads on YouTube, but um, Hungry Fat Chick. You have a few different mukbangers that still upload mukbang content. Back in the day when I used to watch mukbang shit, it was mainly Trisha Paytas when she was with Jason, Jason Nash. Way back in the day, I guess like around 2016, 2017, 2018. But nowadays on YouTube, it's really Nakato avocado and Hungry Fat Chick. I guess there are a few other people. But on TikTok... The trend has exploded. It's massive. It's ginormous. I mean, we got TikTok creators nowadays that are making thousands and thousands of dollars a month just simply eating three, four, five, six, seven times a week of these fast food takeouts. And of course, it's got to be bigger and better every single time they do because otherwise, how do you keep the people coming through? You got to keep eating these crazy high denominations of food. And then you end up with these people that are eating literal like uh, pure slop, pure slop, double, triple sandwiches and stuff like that. And they're doing exotic shit with it too. I've been hearing rumors, just rumors, I don't know if it's true or not, that Jelly Bean Sweets is now selling videos, exclusive videos of her with burritos and the burritos are not going in her mouth. Now, I'm not going to go any further about where I think those burritos might be going, vagina, but they might be going in other places. Who knows? But I, that's what I've been told. That's what people have been telling me. Through the grapevine, they've been saying, did you hear about what Jelly Bean Sweets have been saying? Do you see what she's been selling out? And you know what, dude? <laughs> Listen, it's a natural course of action. Obviously, you can only do this for a certain period of time. And if you are going to do this, you should probably start off small. Because if you start real big and you start body slamming two, three, four, five sandwiches in a row and you just start now, how the hell are you going to go up any higher than that? You know what I'm saying? You can't go up any further than that. That's already pinnacle. And I guess she dressed up as, I, I really used to like Austin Powers when I was a kid growing up. It was like one of my favorite movies. I don't know what I was doing watching the movies, but it was one of my favorite ones. I love Mike Myers personally. Not the one with the, you know, ee, ee, not that one, but the other one. Yeah, baby. Or whatever he used to say. One of my favorite, one of my favorite uh, movies of all time. And I guess she was the sex bot or I guess the fem bot, Mobby, the fem bot. They had the nipples come out and they were like machine guns or something like that. Beautiful, amazing piece of art. But if you told me this was a fembot, I would have never assumed that. Mm. I hate when people do this. I hate when they, they take a bite and they point at the food as if that's supposed to mean anything at all. Damn, them gloves, dude. Are you going to wear this again? Like, you're just buying outfits and then, like, just, like, are you ever returning these? Or, like, I'm pretty sure these outfits are finished. Like, maybe you can wash them up. But I'm seeing cheese residue and I'm seeing a whole bunch of, like, you're just grabbing onto the food with your... These gloves, these Powerpuff gloves? Damn. God damn. With the macaroni and cheese on top, it's kind of diabolical, dude. The macaroni and cheese doesn't even look really that good at all. It looks kind of like fermented almost. Like it's it's been shelved over or it's like you could probably pave, pave concrete with it. How does the... How does the how does a lipstick stay on like that? In the in the dip, bro. You dipping this shit into the in the frosty, bro, in the shake. Look, I know a lot of people out there like this shit, and I know a lot of people like the shakes. Can we just be a little kosher about it? Can we just not have the fries be dipped in the shake? People tell me a lot though, it does taste pretty good to have a shake on the side or a McFlurry to dip into. That's crazy. Okay, I'm gonna keep it a buck. McFlurries ain't ain't what they claim people like a lot of people tell me that McFlurries are like the best thing that's ever known to man I've had one and they're terrible 
It was gross. It was absolutely disgusting. It was just sugar. Like, I might as well have just, like, went to the grocery store, opened up a bag of sugar, and just poured it down my throat. Um, I would have probably got more social credit, too, for doing that rather than going into McDonald's and ordering uh, – I don't even know what it was called at the time. It was, like, a Grandma Irma or it was, like, some shit like that. It was, like, oh, celebrating Grandma's birthday or some shit like that. And it was some kind of, like, McFlurry Grandma Shake or whatever. And then I bought it. But not for myself. I had some because somebody else – I bought it for them. And then they were like, do you want some of this? And I was like, I'll taste it. And I tasted it. And it was not as good. It was terrible. It was actually terrible. It was like sugar on top of sugar. And it was like four, it was like fusion dance sugar. And it was, that was just terrible. It didn't even taste like ice cream at all. So I know a lot of people out there do like the McFlurries. And I know a lot of people like shakes. Dude, suck me off. Okay. They're not, they're not as good as a lot of people say they are. And I'm sick of people saying that you have to dip food in them. I prefer to have my sandwich uh, unmoisturized with whatever condiments that you have. Personally speaking, I don't like ketchup on it. I don't like any of the sauces on it. I like my shit dried up. I want my shit to be burger, meat, and onions. Now, granted, you could put a little bit of lettuce on there. You could put a little tomato on the side too, but I'm not putting ketchup. I'm not putting, I'm not putting mayonnaise. I'm not putting any of that shit on there. I'm putting just regular meat to mouth. Hold up. You know what I'm saying on that. Damn. Them gloves is finished dude i wonder if you do anything about this like she dressed up for this video right and obviously it's halloween i wonder what mr munchie because like if i'm being honest dude why wouldn't you right you guys know what i'm talking about like if you're willing to dress up i would dress up like if i was dating somebody and they were like oh david i want to do you know i want to do school girl outfit and i'd be like yeah yeah sure i mean i don't know how it's gonna fit me but we can do it it's not that big of a deal i'm willing to try a whole bunch of stuff to be honest and i'm willing to compromise with the person that i'm with if you got some kind of weird fetish i'm willing to do it anything without the butt though like i can't do anything with the butt it's it's off limits i don't i want everybody to think i don't even have a butt i want my butt to be completely absent upon my body i don't even want to know it exists okay i grew up around a whole bunch of homophobic black guys and every single one of those dudes refused to even acknowledge they have a butthole some of them don't even wash it because they think it's gay to even have one so i grew up in that culture and so a little bit of that uh transferred over to me not the blackness not the blackness but the homophobia towards my butthole and so whenever i'm with a girl and girls go let me rim you <laughs> no that's crazy as hell. I don't know. You, I don't, do you understand what you're saying right now? You know, you know how crazy that shit is? My butthole is pretty sanitary. Most men's buttholes are not, though. But uh, anyway, I don't know what we're talking about right now. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm willing to dress up, personally. If, if you wanted to dress up, if you wanted to me, me to be a police officer, it can kind of work a little bit. Or, um, I don't know, dude. Maybe I could be like a Pokemon trainer or something like that. I'm willing to dress up as like a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> I don't like the way she eats too there's so much of this too much lip action the lips come out too far and i think i don't think she actually eats like this i think it's a facade i think she's doing that because she knows that people are watching the mouth movements dipping the shit in why are we using the shake as a dip damn damn them gloves is fucked gomez I brought you a Chipotle burrito. I don't, I don't, it's okay. It's not the worst, actually. I just wish that you would have blended a little bit more into the neck because your neck is very, very not so white. That's what I would prefer, but it's whatever, dude. I guess it doesn't matter. What are we even doing? What am I even talking about right now, dude? She's just dressing up just to get the, I don't know, man, the novelty of eating. F I don't even understand what the, a burrito while you look like Elvira from the Adams Family or whatever her name was. I don't know, man made out of the guts of your ex-lover is that beef really what you trying to say about mr gomez huh what was he getting into or is that chicken we'll see what it is it, it makes me hurt too knowing that these acrylics are so long and i know that the food is going to get on the acrylics and i know the acrylics are going to be stained i know they're going to have residue from the food underneath the underneath the nails and somebody can let me know down below how easy it is to clean these acrylics but i've seen a lot of women with dirty ass busted ass acrylics underneath bro i'm talking about people straight up civilizations growing underneath the nails and i see it too frequently and i know that a woman like this dude that be eating as frequently as she does that shit's gotta be diabolical i bet that shit smell like straight up like boiled like I don't know, like boiled seagulls. 
and the hot sauce, man. Double it up. She kind of looks like um, Mulan. Or not Mulan. Was that Mulan? The the Chinese one? The Chinese one where she was like a Matryoshka doll or something like that? I don't know. Like the traditional Japanese outfits. You know how they went solid white? Bon appetit. Yeah, you see what I'm saying, dude? Bon appetit indeed. But you see what I'm saying? Like, it's all dripping on the nails, bro. That's going to be gross as fuck, dude. How much you want to bet? How much you want to bet? <gasps> oh, my God. Not as good as my cooking. Surprise you, cook. Got the lipstick stains on the actual burrito itself. Some guys would pay good money for that, though. If I'm being honest with you. Lipsticks. Hubba hubba, dude. Let me see what that beef is. Damn. Woo. Oh my god, damn. Look at the lip stain on that, dude. That's insane. Look at that right there. It's like, what, solid top lip? So much, so much lipstick on this. It's got to be feeder content. There are probably tons of dudes out there just, just stroking their shits. Just straight up marinating their meats, looking at this woman's mouth movements and just going, oh my god, I need that. You can make a lot of money doing stuff like this, if I'm being honest with you. If you go on certain sites and sing, things like that. I don't like the mouth noises. Not as disgusting as I remember. The mouth noises are, are just, I'm guessing that's chicken. So when you said your ex-lover, I mean, that can mean a lot of things. It could be the guac could be the hot sauce i met a few dudes that have put their meats in a few different things i did know a dude that had marinated his meat with hot sauce before he's black and he told me it wasn't good i had once mm, i had once accidentally had some hot sauce on my meat and it's not something i'm proud of but you gotta you use the milk you put milk on a, in a bowl like a, a like a short bowl like a small like short bowl not like a long bowl but like a short bowl and it was burning i mean listen there's not there's not much skin on the meat. A lot of people don't notice, okay? Like, it'd be one thing if you had bicep meat. That's one thing. Skin on your face is a little bit deeper. But the meat on your meat is not so meaty. So, you got to put the, the bowl on the floor. And you just kind of lay down in it. You just kind of like, you know what I'm saying? You just plank out. Let that shit marinate across the meat. And then take a shower right after. It's okay, dude. Like, having milk on your meat is whatever. Milky meats? That, should, that could be a whole company, bro. That could be literally a whole company of, of dudes that... That sell milkshakes and meats simultaneously. It could be milky meats. Don't somebody go and somebody go and steal that from me. But dudes will occasionally put stuff, you know, on their on their meat sacks. Or I met a few. I've even met some women that have put some weird stuff in their vaginas. Dude, I met one girl that told me she put corn in her vagina, not like um, corn in the cob, but like a can of corn. She was putting like corn kernels in her vagina. I don't know. <laughs> I don't fucking know, dude. You act like I know that shit. I don't know. I had this one girl that literally wanted me to put my foot in her vagina. I think that's probably a little bit weirder, in my opinion, probably. But at least it's a part of me instead of, like, just some random stuff that came out the ground. But, uh, anyway, I don't even know what we're talking about, man. Primita. This is diabolical, bro. <sighs> what is this, five guys, man? Damn. Oh, in and out in and out Okay, my bad. in and out in and out with the cheese fries, the double burger... Triple burger? Is that a triple burger? Is that triple? One, two, three. I think that's three. Three burgers. And then two meat patties. And then I'm guessing a shake. I don't know who she's trying to be. Is this like the Joker or something? Which Joker, man? Is this Jared Leto's Joker? <laughs> the worst one? It's okay. I think Jared Leto is a great actor. He's committed to certain roles. I think he goes a little bit above and beyond sometimes. I know a lot of people think that when actors go really, really far, the movie turns out way better. I think sometimes they go a little bit too far. And I think that sometimes they don't they don't give him the right direction. Bon appetit, primita. True. Damn. Damn. Why does she do the... Is that, like, a part of the thing? Like, do people inhale when they eat food? Aren't you scared to have more gas in your stomach when you eat? Doesn't that mean you fart more, in my opinion? Doesn't that? Isn't that? Yeah, right? I don't fart very often uh, because I don't really indulge in sodas at all. And when I'm eating, I always make sure when I eat, 
I don't know. I might be a little bit weird on this, but I always exhale. Like, I make sure my mouth doesn't have any air in it because I don't like having air in my mouth. I kind of like, I like having just, just basic, you know, just tongue in mouth, I guess. I don't know. But I don't like having air in my mouth. I don't like having a, when I'm eating, I don't want to know that there's extra stuff in my mouth besides the food. So I always try to evacuate my mouth. And then when I chew, I just... And then, then eat because I don't like it. I don't like the mouth noises, but I guess a lot of people do. I don't know. Maybe you're thinking like if she inhales enough air, she'll fart. I know there are a bunch of guys out there that like it when women fart. I don't know. I don't know why that's the thing. Listen, there were guys buying bath water. I mean, what do you want, dude? It's not that big of a deal, I guess. Farting. I don't think she's got a big enough mouth too. Like the way she, you know what I hate about lipstick sometimes is like when you, when you pucker your lips, you see where the lipstick stops and where it starts. And sometimes it's not as bad because maybe you're wearing lip gloss or maybe you're wearing something more nude. But when you wear something very, very drastic like this, I can see the difference too much. Damn. Okay, bro. Come on, man. In, in the shake, huh? Them fries don't even look edible. Those things, they don't look edible at all. They look like maybe fries that somebody melted a crayon over. Why are you inhaling? What are you, why? What are you talking about? It doesn't even look good. It looks like the pink sauce. Don't knock it till you try it, Primita. Oh! Oh! What are we doing with the meat patties, though? Damn! Oh my god, that cut was crazy! Like, you didn't think you had enough already with the burgers? Why would you buy two more burgers if you were already gonna bo like body slam a triple stacker? A triple stacker with two more stacks on the side? No bun? Crazy, bro. This is some diabolical ass shit. Oh, oh, the sauce is not good, dude. Cheesy fries, okay, but the sauce, the shake, I mean, I can't fuck with it. I can't. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't tickle my fancy. It doesn't. It just kind of makes me feel uncomfortable. I kind of like these things though. These are like green pepper thingies over here. I kind of like the way they look. They're really aesthetic. Personally speaking, I I, I do like them off the side here. That's it. Damn, she bodied that shit. I love that she had to stop, look at the camera just to ensure that it was recording and see the grand, like, the grandiose moment where it touched her lips. You see how she, like, has to look at the camera and just to reassure everybody, like, yeah, I'm about to do some di diabolical shit right now. This is, listen, man, Miss Incredible, everybody knows this. Miss Incredible got the body, right? Everybody noticed shit. Everybody say Miss Incredible is the thickest of all of them. And she's like crazy body, yaddy, 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 yaddy. Uh, I think it's diabolical when anybody that tries to look like somebody like that doesn't look like them, even in the slightest, bro. It's It hurts me a little bit, dude. I think if you're going to be, if you're going to try to dress up for somebody for Halloween, you should probably try to look like them at the bare minimum. It'd be like me trying to dress up as like Nelson Mandela. Like, you know, how far am I going to get? I don't know. I guess I go wear a suit or whatever, put my hands up like this. I don't know. What can I do, right? Can't do much, probably. I'll probably get, I'll probably get beat up a little bit. Um, or if I dressed up as something else, like, can you imagine if I dressed up as like Cinderella? I guess maybe I could pull that one off a little bit more. Everybody already thinks that I'm a femboy or everybody thinks that I'm like a, what do they call those dudes that, um... I'm an e-boy, I guess. I don't fucking know, dude. Whatever, man. It doesn't fucking matter. But uh, when somebody dresses up as Mrs. Incredible, I mean, come on, dude. That's crazy, dude. What am I even looking at right now? I'm seeing two double chins right now, dude. Come on. Them gloves is already coated, dude. Double saucing is crazy. Bro, what is this? <laughs> I didn't even peep the amount of, of chest I'm looking at, dude. Jesus Christ! I don't think Miss Incredible had a suit like this. Oh. Ah! 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 Why would you do that noise? 
Oh! Ugh, why is it so mouthy? It's so much inhaling, dude. Ugh. My eardrums. It's not as bad. Oh, I gotta turn it down. Oh, so much slurping. Who watches this? I've beaten off to some weird stuff, 100%. I've beaten off to probably, I've probably beaten off to gay porn and not known it, right? I, I, I've beaten off a few times to watch, this is why I don't watch conventional porn anymore. The amount of times, I remember one time, man, dude, I remember one time, dude, I was watching this one pornography and there was, uh, the cameraman was recording it. There was a man and a woman, obviously they were having sex and it was going on, it was going okay. And then I'm not even joking with you. When I hit that point and I was about to bust, I swear, dude, I was in the middle of busting. Like I was about to hit that. And the dude, the cameraman, I'm not even joking with you, literally went like this and pointed his camera down at the meat and he was stroking his shit. And I busted. I busted right there when I saw his meat. And I thought I was gay for... I, I thought it was gay for about three hours, but I wasn't gay, obviously. That was an accident. It, how was I supposed to know it was going to happen? You know what I'm saying, dude? It was, it was like the finisher. It was like, a, it was like the, the ultimate move, right? You, 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 how, how, how can you anticipate something like that? You can't. It's impossible. But the point I'm making is like we all do stuff that we sh probably shouldn't do when we beat off. This is diabolical, though. I could never see myself putting hand to meat uh, watching something like this. Aaron. Okay. Ooh, I don't like it. I guess I guess it's stretchy because Miss Miss Incredible was stretchy, right? Is that what it's supposed to do? It's like it's supposed to emulate that. Are those little burger patties over there too? Oh, how many did you get? Oh, shut up, dude. Shut up. Getting a crumble cookie is crazy, dude. Crumble cookie, to me, I no longer think of them as cookies after I saw what Amberlynn Reed was doing with them. If you guys don't know, listen, dude. I mean, it, it's not confirmed. It's all legend. But people have said, close friends of Amber have said she may or may not have inserted a crumble cookie in her vagina. Now, I don't know if that's a confirmed thing. I don't even know how the fuck you were able to do that. I don't know what kind of crumble cookie it was, but that's what people have told me. And I'm not sure if it's true. Like I said, it could be true, but I could be wrong at the same time. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Bon appetit, primita. Oh, damn. She got the two piece on that one, dude. I think that was two individual cookies, right? Or no, maybe that wasn't. I don't know. If you guys don't know, the crumble cookies are literally a thousand calories per cookie. Not even joking with you. That's why they give you the thing to cut them up in fours because you're supposed to only eat 250 calories, I guess, out of a fucking cookie, which is insane. 250 calories from one fucking cookie is insane, let alone a thousand. And you know, I see people all the time. I, eat, I see crumble cookies here. I got like one or two. There's one downtown. I've been downtown a few different times and I've been outside the crumble cookie factory and I've seen people literally eating two or three of these cookies. No problem. Body slamming one or two of these. Coming outside, grown men body slamming two or three of these. And they have no idea that they just ate two, 3,000 calories and they just keep it pushing as if that doesn't do anything to them throughout the entire day. That's like 500 calories right there. She's a 10 out of 10. She, she's a 10 out of 10 right here, dude. Just point at that shit and do this finger movement. This is it right here, guys, okay? This right here is 10 out of 10. Pointing at a cookie, it's beautiful. I mean, these things are supposed to be 10 out of 10s, but go ahead. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Dap my- I would rate this one an 8.5. Dap my favorite. So excited for this one, Primita. I love pumpkin. Dap my favorite. Mm. Ugh. This one is a 9 out of 10. You don't have to point at it. Like, we know what the one you're talking about is because it's, you're the literally the one you're eating it. You don't have to point directly at the thing and say, like, yeah, this one is so good. We all know what it is. You're literally eating it right now. It's not too sweet. 
but it's like the perfect amount of pumpkin spice. Beautiful. So many calories wasted. Damn, what's in that? Ooh. Why so much mouth? I hate it. I hate the... Everything you eat, you have to inhale? Why? Ugh. This one's too much peanut butter for me. This one, a two out of ten. Ugh. Then bad. why'd you buy the peanut butter if you didn't like peanut butter? And let's take an epic bite. Ooh. Why'd you have to get the cake too, though? She's nice and moist, honey. Yo, calm down. Point at it, yep. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 10 out of 10. Totally. 10 out of 10. It don't matter what it is. Everything here is a 10 out of 10 then, if that's the case. With the exception of the peanut butter cookie, which is only not a 10 out of 10 because you don't like peanut butter, which for some reason you bought peanut butter cookies, like on some Amberlynn Reed shit, talk about some, I don't like pizza with the pepperoni on it and then still get the pepperoni pizza or Becky Jones. I don't like cheese and get cheese on everything. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. I hope everybody enjoyed today's video. If you did, I appreciate everybody can leave a like, comment, subscribe on today's video. I appreciate all of that stuff. So if you could do that, I would appreciate you tremendously. Helps me grow in the algorithm. If you watch the video in its entirety and you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in spooky because it's getting crazy now, okay? I'm seeing people walking down the street and they're in the Halloween spirit, dude. People are decorating the houses now. Everybody's wearing orange and black and all these other colors. So it's really beautiful. I love the festivities. It's like one of my favorite holidays. I would say my favorite holiday is probably Thanksgiving, though, because it's uh, I just got really fond memories of that particular occasion. But let me know down below what your favorite holiday is. I'm very interested. Um, but anyway, guys, you're really beautiful today. You smell really great. The way that your armpits are not lubricating because you put on deodorant is really, really great and amazing. So I really appreciate that about you. You know how to take care of yourself. That's totally amazingly justifiable. Thank you so much for putting on the, de 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 deodorant and also drinking water. That's really, really amazing. Anyway, guys, um, social medias will be linked down below in the description. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.